what's your name? My name is Janie Buckingham. I'm the Pie Queen. Are you? Uh, you so you're don't, you don't go by Cutie Pie. You go no, by the, the pie, pie Queen. queen. I am the Pie Queen. You are the Pie Queen. This is Buckingham Palace, Austin style. It's, it's been an amazing, it's been kind of an amazing journey. Um, I actually was a hospice nurse okay. for eight years prior to this and um, went to work for a perinatologist and talked to my supervisor one day and she said, hey, the Driscoll Hotel is holding a pie contest looking for an amateur baker that can make a pie good enough to put on their menu. Oh my and, goodness. Uh, so I entered the contest at the Driscoll Hotel. I uh, took my mother's buttermilk pie and recipe and entered the contest and won the contest. Oh my goodness. Decided that I was tired of uh, changing catheters and bedpans and all that stuff and okay. I wanted to make pie. So so from catheters <laughs> and bedpans to pie plates. Well no honey because and see, piping this, bags. Well this is this is gonna be the name of my cookbook, the cutie pie wagon cookbook from bedpans to pie pans. Yeah you see? We're on the same wavelength. We are on the same wavelength. I love Absolutely. That. I love that. Wait, can we stay on that topic for a moment? Yeah sure. I'd like to know did you ever consider hospice doing cupcakes and I mean pies related to hospice? Like, is there a way to bring those two concepts together? Well, I was just positing the idea of you blending up your buttercream pie for me and putting it through my feeding tube. Like, is that something, don't, wouldn't that be kind of cool? That would be kind of cool. Uh, and, and see, if I was in the end stages of my life, I wouldn't eat anything that I wanted to eat. It's, this, is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. If I'm going out, I'm gonna go out eating exactly what I want. And isn't the whole concept of hospice that you're kind of doing it on your own terms. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Queen. Yes. I just saw something that's disturbing me. What? I'm a foodie. Uh-huh. You're a foodie. Uh -huh. Obviously, we appreciate food. Yes, we do. I want you to explain. This? I want you to explain that. Uh, it's my daughter's. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, no, as you, We're okay. as you can see here on my throat. Yeah. I'm a tea time cancer survivor. Oh my goodness. Actually, really kind of how all this came about was my mother got ovarian cancer when I was 18 and three months later I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. And so we didn't quite know who was going to wind up being here and who not. Um, and then when it became evident that mom was not going to make it, we took all of her recipes, about 300 of her recipes. Oh my goodness. And we typed them up and we made a book just to give to family and friends and that's my Bible. That's what I cook out of now. Anyway, so after she passed away, I didn't cook for like 25 years. And um, it was just an emotional connection that was yeah, hard to do. It right? was just way too hard for me to handle. And I mean, if it came in a box or a bag, that's, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the easiest thing to do. Yeah. And then my aunt passed away, Mama Jean, and she made the best chocolate cream pie you ever wanted to wrap your lips oh around. Oh my God. Chocolate cream pie with a big thick meringue and all that stuff. Oh she made my, my daddy two of them God. for his birthday. Oh my God. And she'd let one of the family have one and then daddy would be up the next morning eating the pie. But anyway, she passed away and I made the chocolate cream pie. And I took it to the reception, and we're all sitting around talking like you do at the receptions at the funerals and stuff. And this man stood up and he said, I want to know who made that chocolate cream pie. And I was like, crap. I was like, I did. I'll give you my insurance card. I'm so sorry if you're sick and if you oh got my food poison. And he just looked at me and he said, honey, I just wanted to know whose neck I needed to hug because that's the best damn chocolate cream pie I've ever had. Went back and had three more slices, and I drove home, and I kept telling myself, I can do this. I can, I do can this. make pie. Sure, sure. I can do this. And so I got mom's recipe book out and I just started trying things. And I didn't know about, this was about four or five, maybe six or seven years ago. I didn't know about the Food Network. And then I discovered the Food Network a couple days later and called my daughter and I said, what is this? And she goes, it's a Food Network, mom. And I'm like, 24 hours of food? She said, yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm home. Oh, yeah. oh, honey, I need my own television show. I'm thinking the same thing. What I want, this is my idea for a television show, okay. and exactly what I shake want to it, do. Shake it, shake it on me, girl. Is I want to take my trailer across America. Oh my God. Talk to each individual person about their pies, share their recipes, get them to make the pies for Jeez. me, and taste them. I am, I have been a non wallflower since the age of two. I Um, I like your beard. Thanks. How did you decide to kind of do that? Okay, talk to me. These twins, I met these twins, and one like bearded guys and one like clean shaven guys. No, so. is that true? Yeah. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. And are you dating them now? Oh, no, it was not a date. It was just a fun night. Okay. Uh, but you like, you <laughs> like the being look. being an ambassador of Austin, they were busy.
Well, y'all come on down to the pie wagon where you can stop your pie hole because my pies will put the doodah back in your zippity. And for the culinary compass, ciao for now.